Hey, my fire sign friends, and welcome to your July 20th daily inspiration. I am going to set you down. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo in that order. This is for the 20th. Ooh, that card just popped out. Okay. I'm going to put that back in because I didn't call for it yet. I am hearing. So we will get started here right away. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius in that order. Just kind of shuffle here. Okay, Aries, you guys have the Ten of Cups, Sag or Leo's, the Tower, Sagittarius, you have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Your guys' overall situation is the Three of Cups, clarified by the Five of Wands in reverse. Um, some of you could possibly be Waiting on um, a separation from an earth sign I'm getting, but I'm not going to go too far into the bottom of the deck. I'll get my clarifiers here. Aries males. Aries females. Leo males. Leo females. Saggy males. And Sagittarius females. Okay. Whoa, that one just flew out of there. Okay. So, we'll set those off to the side for now. Aries, um, you guys are learning of or hearing about or giving the news to somebody in your that you're dealing with of, of a third party. Um, yeah, there's you're emotionally drained. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys are uh, having a lot of emotional... Um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say breakdowns because that's not exactly um, what I'm seeing. But uh, for you, Aries males, you have the three of wands clarifying your ten of cups in reverse. So you guys are looking out um, thinking, is this really what I want? What do I want to bring into my life? What is going to make me emotionally um, satisfied? You could be dealing with a third party um, and you're realizing that where you're at currently is not fulfilling you. And you're, uh, you're waiting for um, this third person to come back to you or trying to figure out a way to reach them. Um, you're eliminating competition. You're eliminating outside people. Um, and you're trying to figure out how to move forward to make this Ten of Cups in the upright. Aries females, you have the lovers in reverse. So you have a choice to make between two people also. Um, with the three of cups here, it could be more than three. Um, but you are also going to eliminate the competition and, um, and bring it down to one. You have to make a choice. However, I do not see you Thursday making a choice because the lovers is in the reverse. Um, but yeah, uh, you guys <coughs> healing family issues is the card, uh, from the romance angels and, it says your love life benefits as you forgive. Um, yeah, for sure. So um, you could have had a third party and uh, you have children with one of the people. Um, for this group of you that I'm seeing, this won't resonate with everybody, obviously. But for this group of you, you're trying to figure out how to leave your spouse or significant other that you have children with. And you're trying to figure out uh, how to move on from here. 
you have the prison waif as your um, your advice card, and that's self sabotage and poverty conscious. So you guys are staying with a spouse or significant other at the moment due to um, money concerns. You're worried you're not going to be able to make it out on your own. You're worried that you can't afford to leave this person. And you're worried about your children, providing for your children. So um, you guys are really in a, in a stuck state today still. You guys aren't making any moves physically, but you are making plans, both of you, for the future to move forward with somebody else. Um, and not the person you're currently either living with or in a commitment with. Leo, you guys have the tower. Um, a big shakeup today. Yeah. So um, you guys are, or er, er, Leo males, you guys are hearing about a third party um, within your relationship. Um, you could be experiencing an air sign who has been lying to you, um, who has been deceiving you, and you're just waiting to hear the truth. They could be coming in with the truth today. However, I don't really see it. You are just finding out about this situation, but you've had suspicions. So if you haven't suspected this up till now, um, chances are it's not going to fit. Um, but you're going to have to do a lot of healing and uh, with these this family issues as well. Leo females, you... Um, you have the six of pentacles. So you're giving more to this relationship than what the person is to you um, could possibly be because they have somebody else. You're tired of the fighting and you're set now in search of uh, a relationship that's going to be more balanced for you. Somebody that invests in you as much as you and them. But some kind of news is going to come in today that's going to kind of shake your foundation. Um, it's going to make you want to jump ship is what I'm hearing. Sagittarius, you guys have the four of pentacles in the reverse. You guys have been holding back emotionally, not wanting to invest too much in somebody because you're worried um, that there is somebody else, that there's outside influences in this relationship. So you haven't been um, investing as much as what you um, usually would. Sagittarius males, you have the wheel of fortune in the reverse. So you're dealing with some karma today that has to do with something of your past um, where you weren't investing in the right place. Um, you could experience a little bit of bad luck today with finances as well. Uh, so be cautious of your spending, Sagi males. Uh, Sagittarius females, you're walking away. You're walking away from, with the Five of Swords, from somebody who's not willing to put in the time and the effort into this relationship as what you would see um, fair, fit, uh so yeah, you're walking away from somebody who's not investing enough time in you. Um, you could be ending a committed relationship. Um, either way, you're seeing that they're spreading their energy out way too thin and you're going to move forward. All of um, you, all fire signs, really need to be conscious of self-sabotaging your happiness, self-sabotaging your future. Um, you, For some reason, you don't feel like you deserve to be happy. Or you don't feel like you deserve more than what this these relationships are providing you. But all three of these relationships, you're not happy. Um, you're not getting enough out of that partner. Um, so it's time to heal family issues and to move forward. <clears throat> to move on towards what you really want. So there will be a cause of celebration instead of sharing energy with uh, an outside person. So... That is what I have for you, um, fire signs. I am going to do another spread real fast um, in case that did not um, resonate with you. This will be for all fire signs. Uh, pick a side. One side will be your energy. The other side will be whoever you're dealing with. So um, whatever side resonates with you, that's you, obviously. And the other side will be the other person. So spirit angels, what can I or what messages do you have for fire signs for the 20th of July? A different situation than what betrayed in the first spread, please, and thank you. Okay. So, um, a group of you are dealing with the ending of a relationship that uh, has, you've been with this person for quite some time. 
Um, you possibly have children with them. You possibly have known them since childhood. Um, at one time, this person, this is the only person you've seen um, in your future. Um, now you're starting to second guess whether or not this person is for you. On the other side here, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So the person you're thinking of, oops, the person you're thinking of, uh, they're they're working hard on their finances. They've this person's been hurt in love before. Could have been hurt from you actually, or vice versa. Um, so they're not really um, putting a whole lot of stock into uh, where this relationship is going. They kind of have that um, talk is cheap, actions speak louder. So they're they're worrying about their finances and working on that, um, waiting for you to uh, to come towards them. Because they don't want to invest too much and uh, be flaked out on again. This side, um, you are dealing with uh, some codependent energies, pretty strong actually. Um, you feel that you can't leave a person because uh, you don't know if you can make it on your own. You don't know if that person can make it without you. Um, and for a group of you, it could be very small. Um, you're dealing with addictions. Uh, yeah. Also, I mean, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but, um, that's for very few people. Um, the main issue I'm seeing with this is the, uh, codependency. You feel like, um, you worry about making it on your own, but you can break free. This other side, they're waiting, um, either for, a uh, answer or they're waiting for justice to be served. They're waiting for the scales to be balanced out. For this group, um, I see you are not with this person. You are with somebody else. And this is who you're thinking about leaving for this person. Um, this person is waiting for uh, this side to get a, a divorce or to separate from a relationship that they're currently in. Um, they're waiting for things to be balanced out so you can concentrate on just them, on their relationship with you instead of having to split your energy. Uh, this side, you are feeling drained. You're feeling like this um, could never happen. You're feeling like you don't know where to go from here. But it, the star card is here, whether it's in reverse or not. It's always a positive card. It just means that the stars are not quite aligned yet for your wishes and your dreams to come true, but they will be. This is destiny that this relationship happens. Um, there's just some things that have to get done first before it can move into a commitment. For one, you have to end um, end the karma that you're dealing with right now and uh, before you can move forward. This side, you're making a choice. This side is making a decision. Could be between two people, but um, what I'm seeing more so here is they're deciding not to wait around anymore. They're going to move forward with their life um, because they're they're tired. This person is tired of waiting on this person to make a move or to do what they say they're going to do. Um, so they're not moving on necessarily. They're just making the conscious choice that they're no longer waiting. They're going to move forward, but not on um, and leave that door open for um, for this person to come back. On this side, um, they are gearing up to move forward and make an offer. They know what they want to offer this person, whether this be you, fire signs, or this side. This person um, could be an earth sign uh, because you got Capricorn here as well, or a water sign. But um, this person is making plans to make an offer to this person. It's taking them a while because it's, they're they're um, making their choice very. Every step they take is calculated. They want to make sure that they do it right and they and they offer you exactly uh, what you deserve. For this side, um, yeah, you're no longer le losing sleep over this connection. You're no longer um, stressing out about it because you know you'll be just fine if this person never comes forward and makes an offer. Because it's taken them so long, you're starting to wonder if it's ever even going to happen. Um, so that's part of the choice you're making as well. You're no longer going to allow, uh, to lose sleep, to stress out about it. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't.
Oh. Okay. And here we go. Um, they're no longer feeling stuck. See, they were feeling codependent. They were feeling stuck with a soulmate that they have children with um, here. But they are breaking free today. They are realizing that they're not stuck there anymore. They are going to come forward very soon and make this offer to you. Yep, and there it is. Page of Pentacles. Beautiful. The knight is offering... And this side is waiting for that offer to come in um, from this earth sign. Uh, or it could be Aquarius, Capricorn. But yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, they're waiting to hear from this earth sign. But I do see you guys will be hearing from this earth sign uh, very soon. Can I get a card from the angels, please? Oh, free yourself. So if this is you on this side, it's time to take control of your life. Um, you no longer have to feel trapped. You no longer have to feel stuck or obligated to, um, to take care of that person. They can take care of themselves. Um, yeah, it's time to free yourself. Take back control of your life. This is also has to do with... Um, if you have addictions, it's, it's time to, to do what's best for you. And in the future, I do see someone from your past is returning and reconciliation is on the horizon. So, um, once you free yourself from this person and from, if you have an addiction, that's obviously not for everybody, but, um, once you free yourself from this trapped feeling, you will be able to move forward and make this offer to this person. And this person is just looking fabulous, sitting here, um, working on themselves, working on their finances while they're waiting for justice to be um, equaled out for the karmic scales to balance. They've made a conscious choice no longer to stay awake at night worrying and fretting and being stressed out and full of anxiety. Um, they're going to leave the door open for this earth sign to offer, but they're no longer letting it hold them back. So um, I do see reconciliation on the horizon for this group of people. So pick your side, fire signs, whatever side resonates best with you. Um, that is what the other person is up to. So I hope you guys have a beautiful Thursday. And as always, thank you for joining me on my channel. God bless.